can't do this to all the people who care about you. No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Oh my god. I saw that cute photo of you with your sisters in your room this morning. I can see how much your little sister loves you by her smile. Cool. Lynn. She's only 10. She does have the best smile ever. I would hate to see her sad. Then make Lynn happy and step towards me. If she was here, you would know what to do. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this roof. Oh. How does that proverb go? When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evildoers. I don't believe in justice, Max. I don't believe in anything anymore. No! Fuck. Said the wrong things. Oh my god. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take huh. the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not. And that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. And me? Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate. Oh, grow Excuse up. Excuse me, I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You have no idea what you saw. Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd. I was trying to find out who. Kate had a double life. I was super shocked when I found out. No, you were part of the crowd. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little Shh. Are you gonna take this junkie's word over your security officer? I know she smokes and deals what? marijuana. That has nothing to do with Kate. Max, falsely accusing other people seems to be a habit with you. I trust my security officer. I'll have to investigate to see if this accusation is true. Therefore, Max, I'm obliged to contact your parents and suspend you for a few days. Well? Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Well, let's give it a go, I guess. Uh... Jefferson. 
All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're playing a liar. the field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. Oh. I think Max and Nathan need a break before right. we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. Uh, I'm going to need to find that proof real quick, I guess. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. Oh man. That was really, really rough. I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. Like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Oh, Today shit. proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird oh, tale. shit. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. Oh, shit. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. Man, that's weird. There's some shit going on. She's sad. Oh, she's not. 
Vánoce. There's a Kate binder too. Oh, please don't tell me one person's gonna die every fucking episode. Oh, okay, that that is it for episode two. Um, out of time. Oh, episode two of Life is Strange. That was really heavy. Yeah, I'm going to take a minute, um, and I'll uh, check back in on the credits in a sec. I'll take a little bit of a break.
And that was part episode two of Life is Strange. Let's look at our decisions. 66% of people told Kate, uh, you need more proof. 70, I wasn't well in the majority, answer Kate's call. Tried to shoot Frank. Okay, that one was pretty close. I did both options, and I think the one where Frank doesn't walk away with the gun was my favorite of the two, so I stuck with that. Oh shit, 55% of people saved Kate. 71% blame Nathan, that's good. Oh man, you could have... Can't believe we could have saved Kate. I kind of thought that that was a permanent fixture. Oh shit. Chaos theory. In the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa! film little pieces of time oh they're gonna go through both episodes i'm so sick of people trying to control me don't ever touch me again freak it totally makes sense you hella saved my life i think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday oh man and there <clears throat> she is how are you oh, got doing scratchy throat today. hi joyce i am so sorry about william I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, Stelman hey. Louise. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please get me out of here! Oh no. shit, right the train. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <laughs> What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. Oh, I Warren. believe anything this week. Oh, Warren. Let's find out together. Okay. Figure by episode three, you don't need to remind me about this, but sure. Sure. Oh, Blackwell. Squeenix. Don't not in her time, man. Caulfield. Oh, she's asleep. Wait, what? We have a hamster? Oh my god, we adopted Kate's hamster? Or bunny, or whatever it was? That's so sad. Your pearls. I have something to show you. Meet me in front of campus. Get that ass in gear. That ass. I knew Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. Don't forget to water your plant first. I still can't stop thinking about Kate. 
It's like I'm awake in a bad dream. Sorry, Lisa. Too much water. I can't even keep my plant alive, much less Kate. I did overwater it. Fuck. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. All this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting tragedy. Huh. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. This is such a moving piece of cut-and-paste Blackwell bullshit. Nobody here had Kate's back. <laughs> too little, too late. Yes, oh. now everybody loves Kate Marsh. They bullied her and now post their feels? Hypocrites. Oh my god, Victoria posts an Assassin's Creed quote. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. You lose a game, nobody dies, just saying. Man, that's some harsh shit. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. What's in your drawers? Hey, I swear I will use all of my power to find out who really pushed you off that roof. Oh man, okay. Ew. Thanks for the image, Nathan. And everybody here thinks Samuel is a creeper? Are you I hope hungry, I don't kill buddy? this rabbit, too. Yeah. Not on this. Hey, Bunny. Don't be too bummed, but from now on, I'm your new mommy. Can't believe I killed my fucking plant. Jeebus, I am so freaking tired. <laughs> I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. I need to stay on top of this investigation. No way can I clean that shit off. Time to get Samuel da Vinci to repaint. But my photos, that's the worst part. Come on, Max. No more tears. You have to act, not react. Time to act, not react. I'm seriously bummed that I killed that plant. I even mentioned it. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. Yep. Preach. What is that noise? So much hypocrite. This is my prayer for you, Kate. Bless your gentle soul. She was really sweet, too. It's like some awful TV crime scene in our dorm. Kate, I would give up my power if I could have another rewind to save you. I won't rest until we find out the truth and somebody pays for this. Oh, well, the bathroom's open. Hey, Max. I, I saw you go up on the roof to try to help Kate. I can't believe she jumped. I can. I just wish I could have stopped her. Are you okay? I'm just like, numb. I, I've never seen anybody actually die. I'll stop Me pretending. Neither. 
Well, maybe she's okay. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. I won't say a word. I swear to dog. I hope I can believe you, Max. I'm my own person too. See you later. See you later. Wait, maybe I should find out where she went. Hey, Max. I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Oh man, like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Probably to hell. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. And I hope you're okay, too. You were the only one who tried to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Oh man, preach. I hope Victoria feels particularly shitty about posting that link. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Max? Come here. <laughs> 